Hi, this is Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and I'm going to talk a little bit about what happens when someone installs your module. Um, typically, you want uh, if your if your module has some data that it needs to store, there are some places to do that inside of Drupal. But sometimes you need to set up your own tables. So we'll we'll go over some examples of how other modules are doing that. Plus. Uh, when when you trigger when the module installation script is triggered, a lot of things can happen. Basically, anything you can do anything in Drupal. So we'll talk a little bit about all that stuff. So first of all, when you create a table inside of Drupal, there is a particular way that you do it, and the reason why we don't use just basic vanilla SQL is that it's not cross database compatible. So in previous versions of Drupal, people had to create uh, different versions of their installation scripts based on the type of database that they were trying to support. Also, um, it's easy to make mistakes inside of a basic SQL statement. And not everybody knows all the little tips and tricks and how to use it, how to format it, the syntax, stuff like that. So uh, Drupal has a built-in system called the Schema API which allows you to create a table by just defining an array of key value pairs. So it's, it's pretty simple to use. The only trick is knowing what keys to use for what type of uh, column or function that you need inside of the, the, the table. So there's some benefits in doing this. Um, for one, you just have to create an array to generate a table. Second, it's easier to look at other people's examples of how they're creating their tables, and it's easier to, to generate it because you're just dealing with an array, you're not dealing with uh, funky SQL syntax. And finally, there's a lot of cool little API functions you can use to hook into the uh, schema API to change your uh, table uh, columns, to update them, to add new columns. And, and a couple other things too. So all that functionality is in there sort of built in. So if you use a schema API, you get some, some benefits. So when you're setting up what happens when your module in, is installed, all of your code is going to go into the dot install. Thank you for watching this preview from buildamodule.com. On our website, we offer a number of free videos as well as several others that are available for a reasonable price. Come check us out.